came from the workshop that I did in December. We talked about all these great ideas of how to empower volunteers and how to you know, how to work in their strength zones and things, and things like that. But one of the things we walked away with was, okay, what does a volunteer look like? What are we looking for in a volunteer? So on the plane ride home, what I started to do is I took that and I just started brainstorming. Okay, what, who are the volunteers that I would love to work with? That would be awesome. And then I just kind of broke down the qualities. I was telling them I think I had like 20, 20 little qualities. I'm like, okay, that's a little much. So I condensed them. And so again, I don't think this is a perfect list, um, but I think this really kind of gets us started. Working that. And then I'll definitely ask for feedback at the end because I am interested in what other folks have. If there's anything we think I'm totally missing, or um, if you think this encompasses it very well. So think about that as we move forward as well. And there are nine qualities that we eventually landed on. I don't know why nine, nine is not a magic number. It's just kind of the way it ended up. So um, the first one, you named it. Love for God. Love God. OK, I, I'm sorry. You have to start a basic. If there isn't a relationship with God, if there isn't some sort of love for God, for Christ, they probably don't have any business being involved in church ministry. And we just have to leave it as it is. And so you're like, okay, yeah, duh, this is kind of basic. This is gonna be this is gonna be a deep workshop, I can tell, you know. But we sometimes have to start at the very beginning. But it's one thing to say that we want to make sure that people are loving God or that love God and have a relationship with Him. But what does that necessarily look like? And hopefully their love for God leaks out, well, hopefully gushes out, you know, into the ministry and into their life. And you do, you can kind of tell sometimes when people are in a relationship with God, in a relationship with Christ, and are committed to their faith. It does, it shines, it comes out, and it makes a huge difference in our ministry. And so certainly there are some physical signs that we can see. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that. But one of the ways that we know that uh, people love God is what it doesn't look like. And sometimes what it doesn't look like is easier to spot than what it looks like. So first of all, I think it's important to note that Jesus is central of everything that we do, but that people are central. Not programs, not attendance, not paperwork, but the people that we're serving. But it starts with Jesus, that Jesus is center. This is from, I stole this line from a great book called Jesus Center Youth Ministry. And uh, group publishing is an exhibit, but I think they're closing at three, so they won't be able to check it out. But uh, it's a phenomenal book on how we keep our ministry centered on Christ. And it makes a lot of sense. So we're looking for people that their lives are centered on Christ. Not perfect, I'm not talking about perfect, but working towards that relationship. So the opposite, what are some of the warning signs that we are more likely to see for folks that may not have this, this spirituality gushing or this love for God necessarily. And so we're looking for warning signs of the quality of spiritual life. We're not looking, it's not about not having a spiritual life, but it's about having a weak spiritual life. Um, one that's struggling or wavering a little bit. And like, and when I say this, I have to be careful. It's not like we don't want to invite them into church. We do. But some of these people that may have some of these warning signs may need to be fed in ministry and not feed in ministry. So they need to be rejuvenated, they need to have uh, their spiritual spirituality heightened before they're really able to be in a healthy place to serve in ministry in any way, shape, or form. The first one is loss of passion. And I think passion, I think is so important to what we do. And I think people that really are have their lives centered on Christ really do have a passion about what it is that they're doing, whether it's their career, whether it's their ministry, whether it's their family and hobbies, whatever. I think there's a passion that comes out. And when you start to see people dragging a little bit, and then you feel like their passion is not there, there's probably a warning sign that they're, they're not in the total right place and they have to spend some time working on that. And we all get this. I mean, we all find times that our passion's like, I just don't have the passion, the energy to do this right now. And sometimes those, that's when we're maybe a little on we need to kind of go back to a prayer life, find that balance or whatever. And this happens to me. It happens to all of us. But again, these are warning signs of things that we 